Sikite yonda yolobo shiyende yenebe shikiti yadaba siyende. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Living God. God is getting ready to touch you all over this place. God is getting ready to divinely intervene in your circumstance. Divinely intervene in your situation. Just be open. Just have the hope to know that God can do it. Have the faith to know that He is able. Our God is able. He is the true and the living God. Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you can think, ask, or even imagine. He is the God of the Old Testament as He is the God in the New. He is the God of the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He is the God of Israel. He is a God that is mighty to save, strong to deliver. He is a God that answers by fire. The God that parted the Red Sea. The God that shut the mouths of the lion. The God that took the heat out of the fire for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He is the God that enabled Samson with the jawbone of an ass to overcome thousands of soldiers. He is the God that raised Jesus from the dead. He is the God that called Jesus and allowed him to ascend into heaven. He is the God of miracles, signs, and wonders. Let no doubt stop the move. Let no doubt cause a hindrance in your life. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Fill us. Oh, I can just sense an intensifying presence of the Holy Ghost. Oh, she on the Yorobo, she can't tell about seeing it. Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Church, as we come through the Feast of Tabernacles, I'm reminded of the drawing of the waters from Shiloh. It took it, it was done exclusively on the Sukkot. Now listen to this. In John chapter 7, verse 37 to verse 39. This will bless you. The Bible says, on the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice. You know when this was? At the Feast of Tabernacles. At the day of the Sukkot. When the high priest drew the waters. Drew the waters from that floor of Shiloh. And they went and they poured it on the altar as I taught. After this has been done, Jesus comes and he says, Let anyone who is thirsty... Come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Oh, hallelujah. Rivers of living waters. This blesses me to the next level. He says, by this he meant in verse 39, the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not been glorified. Do you know what that means? At that time, he had not been glorified. It had to happen. But he said, let he who is thirsty come and drink. Do you know what it means for us today? It means that time is now. Because he's already glorified. He's already glorified, church. I'm so blessed to know that this morning, even in the 7 o'clock service, we are moving under the atmosphere of grace. For those that didn't make it for the three nights of the Feast of Tabernacles, 
whatever your reasons, your excuses are, there is a time of grace because this morning is a time of overflow. There is no overflow without the flow. For three nights, we had a flow of outstanding divine intervention, supernatural touch of the Holy Ghost. Lives were changed, medical signs and wonders, miracles happened. But this morning, there's a time of the overflow because God finds grace with those that were unable to make it. There is a time of an overflow. That day, only the high priest had access to that pure water and the access of pouring it onto the altar. But Jesus said, let he who is thirsty, which means today, everyone has access to the water and everyone has access to the altar. And at the altar is where it all happens because man is no longer our high priest. Our high priest is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the high priest at the altar, everyone has access. Mm, 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 mm. Not only do you have access, but you are carriers. That golden flask was carriers of the water. And it was only that special flask that could carry it. Jesus said, let him who is thirsty. Not only will you be filled, but you will be carriers. We've replaced every tabernacle, everything that could hold the anointing in the Old Testament, everything that was substantial to hold the presence, it's been replaced by your body. Your body is the temple of the living God. Not the Ark of the Covenant anymore. Not the flask, not the horn, but it is your body. And God, as much as I know that this body is temporary, but God still cares about your body. He cares about the condition of your body. He cares about the condition of your mind. He cares about the condition of your life on this earth. And there is an anointing right now for God to rectify for God to redeem, for God to remedy. Jesus stood and he remedied the feast that day by saying it's no longer the priest, but it's open to you. Let him who is thirsty, let him drink. I feel such a strong anointing right now for medical signs and wonders. I can't preach right now. I'm just, I just shared what is in my spirit to share with you. But there's a strong anointing of the overflow that's available. You know why it's the overflow? Because it's about water. Water represents the flow. And water can bring the overflow. Right now is the overflow. If you say, man of God, I'm here for the touch. Man of God, I'm here to be filled. I came this morning because I want the touch. I've seen on the media, I've seen what was happening, the miracles, the signs and wonders. But this morning, I'm here for the infilling. This morning, I'm here because I want to be a carrier. This morning, I'm here for the overflow. I want God to take care of this temple. There's problems with this temple. There's issues with this temple. God, it's only you. And you're here for that touch. If you are sick in body, if you've got complications, if you've got an infection, if there's something wrong in your sick in body, something's happening in your life, and there's no other place that you can turn to, and you know it's only God that can make the difference, raise your hands. I want to pray with you right now. Wherever you are, raise your hands. Wherever you are, there is an anointing. There is an anointing that's available right now for the overflow. The flow that we've had for those three nights, that flow is here, and there is an overflow that is that's available to touch you. Come out of your seats. Come to the front. If you want the supernatural, oh, there's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Oh, she can't tie in there. That flask that held the water of all that pure water, 
there's no need for that flask anymore because our bodies are the temple. That flask was made golden. It was made to perfection. But I'm here to tell you today that you are the container. Whatever is wrong in your body, whatever is wrong in this temple, be it you're sick in body, be it whether you've got issues, problems at home with your relationship, with your marriage, with family, whatever it is that is related to you, you say, God, all I need is a touch. I just need the touch, Lord. I just need to be filled, Father. I just need to be filled by your Holy Ghost. I need the flow. I need the overflow to happen in my life. God is moving by His Spirit. God is moving by His Spirit. Oh, yanda yolobo shikite yanda yalabasi yende. Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Everybody stay in worship for those of you that are watching online right now. For those of you that are watching by the media ways. We've had a powerful three nights of celebrating the Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, the in-gathering. What an anointed flow we had where miracles, signs, and wonders have been happening. And right now, there is an overflow of that. If you are unable to be here and you are watching via media stream, whether it's today, the Sunday, or whatever day it is that you're watching this right now, there is a reason that you're watching. As we're going to lay hands on everybody here right now, that same anointing is able to come to you. This, your body, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Whatever is wrong with it, God is able to remedy. What medication cannot do, God is able to do. What doctors cannot rectify, God is able to do. What science is not able to stabilize, God is able to do it. Trust and believe in God. I'm going to pray with you in a moment, but stay online and stay faithful. In the 7 o'clock service, we had a, a family that came back after the feast. They were traveling from Johannesburg. And this woman had a heart condition. She had no energy, messed up. In fact, she's the sister of one of the leaders in our church. She brought her for prayer. And I laid hands on her. And the anointing just hit her under the power of God. And I looked at her and I saw something was happening. And I told her, the workers bring her back up to me. And as she came up, she was crying and tearing. And I said, Lord, this is a heart condition. She can never know for sure that she's already got her healing. Because she's still going to go and get checked up. Or she's still going to go home, exercise, move, do something to see the difference. Something else is happening. And she was crying like she, in amazement. So I asked her sister, what did you feel? And she explained she felt the heat go through her body and X, Y, and Z. But I said, what is happening to you right now? She says, Pastor, you know what? For three years, I've never been able to tear. I've never been able to feel the emotion. My tear ducts, there's a medical condition. I was not able to tear. And as the Holy Ghost went through me, I began to tear. She was tearing like you cannot believe her husband was standing next to her. I asked her, is this true? He says, yes. She hasn't cried for over three years. And she was tearing uncontrollable. I said, if God has healed you with that already, it means that this heart condition is a done deal. She came this morning. She had smiles on her face. She was breathing normal. She was moving normal. She says she feels like she has never felt before. Her husband had an infection. He says he feels like never yet before. God is moving by his spirit. Pastor Kimo, is anybody else here this morning? Where is that person? Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Come, sister. Oh, spirit of the living God. For those of you that are in the front, this is going to help build your faith up. God is able to touch you. What was her complication? Pastor, she was, um, she's a nurse by profession. Uh-huh. curve in her spine, full arthritis, pains all over her body, her leg was short, and when dad prayed for her over here, her leg grew, she had no pain, phoned her the next day, she's doing work as normal, I don't know, she just wants to say something. Just endorse what he said, sister.
Jesus, we move. And I know it's been I'm unable to pick up my, uh, my hands to get onto a certain point. But I, you know, God has been so amazing because throughout the week uh, prior to coming before the uh, this uh, tabernacle started, I've been praying and I've been talking to God. And I came back last night and I, and I knew that I was going to receive my healing. Hallelujah. And God has been so amazing was so busy I was actually talking to him and I was doing stuff and God be all praise to God come on give God praise come on sister I want you to bend for us show the come on come on come on can you walk for us come on walk across walk for us look at that one leg shorter than the other you had a limp before where's the limp church where's the limp come on give God praise hallelujah God has touched you, blessed you. You all know, church, that this is not strange. Legs growing, limbs growing, bones growing. Dad prayed with her. I remember a leg just shot out. It was unbelievable. These are the things. We've got so many testimonies, but Kim was going to list. Some of you are here. How many of you are here right now that received your healing over this street? Just wave, just wave, just wave. You were touched. There's somebody else. There's somebody there. There's somebody there. That's at the back. There's somebody on, the, on that end as well. On that end. Come on, come on, just testify by raising your hands. You were touched. God was moving by his spirit. That same anointing is here right now. Church, stretch forth your hands. I want you to stay in worship. There's no spectators. If you are seated there, God has blessed you. God has touched you. Now it's your turn to stretch forward with faith. There's power in agreement. There's power in unity. As dad and I begin to pray right now, Miracle signs and wonders is going to happen. Whatever your condition is, whatever is happening, whatever is going on, God is getting ready to touch you. Oh, let's just worship Him. Let's just worship. Oh, there's a strong anointing. Oh, she can't tell you. I'm about to see on the yellow boss in there. Oh, trust God. Believe God for your miracle. God is getting ready to touch you. God is getting ready to touch you. Holy Ghost. Nothing is impossible. I want you to raise your hands in the front and say, Lord, I receive my healing. I receive my miracle. For those of you that are watching, say, Father, it's my time. It's my moment. Nothing is impossible. Sing it again. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Holy Ghost. Oh, I'm coming to pray with you. I'm coming to pray with you. I'm coming to pray with you. Oh, there's the anointing. Come on, give God praise. Jesus, right now, Lord, she's too young to suffer with this condition. Yeah. Let these bones straighten and be now healed the in the name of Jesus. Touch, touch. Oh, there's a shot. It pushed. There's it pushing. Just, 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 oh, just. the anointing, yes. There's it pushing. Now the Holy Ghost. In the name 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Lord, you, Lord. There's a new sheep. Done. Yes, done. Done. What did you say, Babs? Papa's leg pulled. I felt something pull my leg. You said you couldn't put pressure on it. Stand up now. What happened? No pain. She couldn't run with this leg. She couldn't train. It actually broke in when? 2018 it broke. Wow. They put, what did they put in your leg? This is a, this is a big miracle, church. A plate's been put in a leg. It's your daughter? No. What did they put a plate? And so many tools, screws, and right? yeah, there you can see the operation part. This is the operation. She couldn't put pressure, she couldn't walk properly. But now what happened? We can put pressure on our feet. No okay. pain. Yeah. Okay, walk for us. Go. Plate or no plate. Hallelujah. That's the Jesus we serve. Hallelujah! Plate or no plate? Check it. Examine it yourself. Oh my God. Whoa, come Woo! on. She couldn't do that. Make you ask her. So young. So young. Hallelujah. Devil, you're a liar. Oh God, you're above medical science. We thank you for doctors. But when they fail, you don't fail, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. She had a dream that God showed her I would pray for her. She's come from another church. And she's here used to be a home. I pray it becomes a home again. Amen. Those miracles happen in the house. You're so young. Only God can do this. Praise him for it. Okay? Amen. Love you. Bless you. Wow, don't thank me. You know, we do this so that your faith would be built up. You know that. If you've been in this church long enough, I do this on stage so that people will know Jesus is in the house. Yes. So if he healed one, in fact, we don't have to even ask you what's wrong. We could just lay our hands and the miracles because you need to say, Lord, your presence is here. Your power is here. You touch that woman, you can touch me. Yeah. So Lord, I'm ready for your touch. As soon as your servant lays his hand upon me, I receive my miracle. That's the attitude, and miracles will happen. Let's go for it.
power of the Holy Ghost. Feel it. Stand on one leg, on the leg that Stand on the leg now. Where's the pain? Gone. No pain. The doctor says she has to have knee replacement. She could not stand on the leg. She could not put pressure on the leg. And now she can stand on it and walk. God is a God of miracles. Come on, give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. Father, right now, every infirmity to leave her body. In the name of Jesus, touch her. Oh, there's the power of the Holy Ghost all over you. Power of the Holy Ghost. Touch her now. Touch her. Father, this blood condition, I break it, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Asthma, she couldn't breathe. She's been suffering for how long? Her entire life. Last night she had a severe attack. Was it last night? The night before. She couldn't take a deep breath, even alone walking. Right now she's healed. Look at this. It's okay to cry. Show them, show them, show them. You're walking faster than me. Come back. There you go. Asthma is gone. Somebody say, asthma is gone. Shout, asthma is gone. A demon of asthma that's attacked so many of our people. What you feel now, darling? You heard what she said? She could never do that before because her chest would get so tight. Now, she's perfectly fine. Somebody give God praise in the house. She said she's perfectly fine. Hallelujah. Keep praising God, darling. Give it a hug. Hallelujah.
Holy Ghost. Where's the thing? You had no flexibility. Your hand was stuck. And now, could you do a? Were you? He's amazed. Could you do a push-up? I asked him for one. Could you do that before? Come on, we gotta share this. Come, come, come. to your wrist before you fractured it fractured it in May and I saw the restriction he could not open his wrist fully he had total limited movement he said he couldn't even train now put your hand forward and show them the movement you couldn't do a push up now show them asked him for one. Now look at how much. It's okay to show off with the anointing. It's okay to show off. High five. What are you feeling right now? I can feel blessed. I feel so new. So renewed. Uh -huh. And when I prayed for you, what, what did you feel happen in your body? Because I was watching. I was feeling going through my body. Yeah, my body. That's the anointing. Church, he made a commitment to rededicate his life unto God. He says he's got issues in his life. You know what I said to him? Just like what happened to Daniel when he fasted. Do you know that Daniel went on his fast, but God gave him the breakthrough before his 40-day fast. He just started to fast. But in his heart, he would have completed the fast. God sees our heart. I said to him, if you confess in your heart that you're going to make the change and God understands it and knows, God will give you this miracle. Are you ready? He said he's ready. And I prayed for him and God touched him. Some of us have obstacles, smoking, alcohol, addiction, and we think that God has excluded us, but we serve a God that is able to do it when no man can see which is in the heart. Man sees the outside, God sees the heart. If God can do it for him, a fractured wrist, and he's doing a push-up in his young life, God is able to do it for you. Somebody give God praise. Come on, with that hand. I want it with that hand. Woo! Wow, look at that grip. Could you grip like that before? He could never grip like that before. Come on, give God praise. He deserves it. Bless you, my brother. You got to serve God to the next level. Oh, believe God for your miracle. God is moving. God is moving. Father, right now, touch these young kids. In the name of Jesus, the anointing. Go through them. Power of the Holy Ghost. Father, touch her right now. Raise your hands. Oh, there's the anointing. There's the anointing. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Power. Touch her. Go through her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Oh, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Touch her right now. Touch her. Touch her. Touch her. Touch her. There's the anointing. There's the anointing. Father, no more pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Just leave her for a while. I want to check her before she goes. Touch her. Father, right now, fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Receive. 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 Your breakthrough. Oh, there's the anointing. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Give him an experience like never yet before. Feel. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. They would know you like never yet before. Father, the weight that she carries, the burden that she carries, the negative words that has been spoken over her life right now. Lift the burden. Lift the burden. 
destroy the yoke, every negativity right now, right now. Be lifted, be lifted. The yoke be destroyed. Touch, fill him, fill, fill. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Touch, touch, fill, fill. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Father, you started the work, now you complete it. In the name of Jesus, power, power to the Holy Ghost. Power, fill him, fill him, fill him. The desire that he has, fill him, fill him. Give it to him, more, more, more. Fill him, receive the anointing. Touch, touch, touch. Give him an experience. Whoa, she can't tell you the yellow bar. Fill her right now. Every burden to be lifted. Every burden to be lifted. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Receive the miracle. Receive the miracle. Oh, there's the anointing. Father, do it for her. Do it for her. Do it for her. There's the anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Oh, there's the anointing. Fill him. Never to be the same again. Deliver him. Set him free. 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 Oh, the anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Father, right now. What you release, what you give. Father, give him the ability. Cleanse him. Cleanse him. Deliver him. He'll never return to that addiction. In the name of Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. Go to his body. Father, his diabetic condition. To disappear, to disappear. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Touch! Oh, in the name of Jesus. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing, the anointing. What happened to the rest of you? How do you feel now? Where's the pain now? I remember you couldn't rotate it when you were you were checking, you were moving it slowly. Now let me see the movement. Put your hands up and show the people. Turn it, rotate it. She didn't have movement in her hand and it was running down to your leg. And where's the pain now? There's no pain. There is no pain. Come on, give God praise. He deserves it. What was your experience? And now where's the pain? Father, what you start, you will complete. In the name of Jesus. There's the anointing. Father, finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, there's the anointing. There's the anointing. Power of the Holy Ghost. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. I want you to lift that leg. I want you to lift it. And now I want you to move it around in the air. I'll hold your hand. Now I want you to put pressure on it. Stand on it. Exercise your feet. What do you feel as you stand? Do it again. Stand on it. Stand upon the promises of God. Stand on it again. Where's the pain now? Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. God has started the miracle. Father, touch her. Touch her right now. Touch her in the name of Jesus. Everything, Father, right now in her heart. Touch! Give her the breakthrough in Jesus' name. Church, in the face of tabernacles, I prayed for those that were getting reoccurring illness. Reoccurring illness. Right now, there's so much of complications. Dad, you got something there? A testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. She had burning in her feet for 10 years. How long? I'm diabetic. burning and numbness on my legs and after pastor prayed for me I felt a sense of heat and the pain and the sensation has just disappeared come on that's good praise the Lord hallelujah come on give God Devil, praise you the liar amen. amen I had I had severe bronchitis for over two and a half weeks almost three weeks and I said Lord you're going to heal me of this because I know that there's a flow of the anointing and the enemy wants to stop what's happening. Obviously, I, I was coughing. I couldn't preach. 
I couldn't do anything. And thankfully, dad was well enough to step in. We had Pastor Kurt Bouquet, Bouquet that stepped in. And thereafter, I know God healed me and touched me. But there's so much of complications post-COVID. Doctors, as I begin to chat with them, people at the, uh, at the pharmacy, people said that they are not the same. Especially those that have taken the vaccine and furthermore, the booster. And I said, Lord, at the feast, this is not going to happen to the church. I'm not anti-vax. I'm not anti-vax. But what I do know and believe is that God has blessed us with medical science. God has blessed us with the intelligence for medication. I got no problem with those things. But what I do know is that man is limited. Science is limited. How they brought about the vaccine, how they brought about the booster, all the side effects, everything that they couldn't fully test. Whatever it is, I say, Lord, we've done what we can do. Now you step in. There are people that are getting colds, flus, chest complications, headaches, body pains, and it's happened through COVID and through the COVID experience and those that have been vaccinated and those that have taken the booster. I want to pray a prayer of protection over those because some people are getting admitted in hospital, the numbers are rising. And I said, Lord, this has happened. People have trusted the medical science, but now look at what's happening. But it will not happen in the church. It will not happen in our church. If that's you this morning, raise your hands. I'm going to pray with you. If you say, Pastor, I need that touch. I've taken the booster. I don't know what's happening. I'm not too sure. I've taken the vaccine. I'm not the same. I've been through COVID, but I'm getting the flu very often. I do I have people here right now? Just raise your hands. Like people are getting healed. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know what can happen with your infection. I want to pray with you. There's one hand. Anybody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Thank you for those hands. Thank you for those hands. Those of you that are watching online, I want to pray for you. There have been two nurses that are in our church that took the booster and they had problems in their vein, in their blood flow, with their neuro neurological system and it affected their eyesight. Things are happening and going wrong. I'm not here to question anything, but I'm here to trust in God. If you want a touch right now, come out of your seats. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. There's somebody that's online that's believing God for a miracle. Why are you coming down? Sherry has stage 3 pancreas cancer. I'm praying for you right now. Which camera? Is it on this camera right now? Father, right now I bring Therese before you. Lord, cancer is not greater than the name of Jesus. Terminal illnesses have been healed, Father. Miracle signs and wonders has been happening and flowing in this ministry. And as she stands right now, believing for this miracle, we stand in agreement. Every cancer case together with hers. We break it, we cancel it. Father, what chemotherapy cannot do, what radiation cannot do, you will do. I speak life, life, life in the name of Jesus. Touch her right now. Miracles begin to happen in Jesus' name. For those of you that are watching that have terminal illnesses, terminal conditions, you say, man of God, I heard about the flow. I understand about the flow that's been happening. I want to tap into that. It's called the overflow that's available. Through Jesus Christ, there's rivers of living water. Whatever your condition is right now, whatever device you are using, whatever media stream that you are using, I want you to just put your hand on your chest or if it's a condition that you have, you can touch. I want you to lay hands on yourself and I'm praying for you. Father, right now, touch this condition in the name of Jesus. Whatever the name is, Father, right now it has a name so we can subject it. We cancel it. We break it. What medication cannot do, you are able to do. Touch them right now. Oh, that heat that they're feeling. You're feeling heat. You're feeling a sensation as I pray. It doesn't matter the time of this recording. What matters is what's happening right now. We serve a God of the Kairos moment. Whether it's a day from now, weeks from now, months from now. But if you're watching this, you're feeling a sensation going through your body. It's the miracle working power of God. Heal them, Father. Deliver them. 
give them the miracle in Jesus' name. Touch. In Jesus' name. Thank you for that miracle, Father. I want you to write to us. I want you to email us. I want you to WhatsApp us and tell us about what's happened to you because it's through the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, do they have complications? Father, touch her. Touch her. Touch her right now. Every infirmity to leave her body. Power of the Holy Ghost. Go through her body. These complications will leave her body in the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. Oh, there's the anointing. There's the anointing. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Oh, while well, there's a flow of the anointing, anybody else that needs a miracle, anybody else sick in body, anybody else, we haven't called your case, come forth, come forth, come forth, come forth, come forth, in the name of Jesus. I've been looking at the statistics in our economy, looking what's happening with the unemployment rate, not only in South Africa, globally, with what's happening with the war, everything that's happening between Russia, everything that's going on with the intent it's affecting economies globally and it's having an impact on localities it seems like this generation the youth the young generation don't have much of a future with the projected recession and as I begin to pray I said Lord it's not gonna happen in our ministry in our church earlier on this year I prayed for CVs I prayed for business contracts I prayed for people that had proposals and the amount of testimonies that have come back is unbelievable. God has opened doors for people overseas and they've already left for jobs. They've already left. God's going to do it. I want to pray for our matriculants. I want to pray for those that are studying right now. I want to pray for those that are studying at your workplace for your promotion. I want to pray for tertiary students that are going through their exam because I know that through this anointing, God's going to open doors that would usually be shut for the year to come. I want to pray right now. If you're in metric, come to the front. If you are writing exams in a tertiary situation, come to the front. If you are writing because you are at your place of employment and you have a cause that you are going through, and you want to get to the next level, come to the front. If there are courses that are applicable at your place of employment that you are afraid to take on, promotion is available, come to the front. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Oh, It's not going to happen to our church. It's not going to happen to our church. It's not going to happen in the kingdom. Because the economy of the kingdom is greater than any natural economy greater after what Job had gone through God gave him double for his trouble irrespective of the economic situation that he went through losing everything that anointing is available right now Joseph could not grow any further but God gave him uncommon favor through the gifting in his life I want you to make a pledge that as I lay my hands upon you and as dad lays his hands upon you, the anointing that you're going to receive is going to come from a conviction that you say, Lord, I want you to use me. I want the gifts to be stirred up in my life. As you're going to open doors for me, I open myself to be used in the kingdom of God and watch what God's going to do. As you study, God says, according to faith, add the works to your faith and God will bring you through. I'm going to pray that God brings to your remembrance all that you have studied. Study hard. Study well. Burn the midnight oil. Do the max that you can do in the natural and watch God take over. Those matriculants as well that are watching via media, wherever you are, I want you to also say, Lord, touch me. 
Oh, there's the anointing. I feel the anointing for doors opening. I feel the anointing for breakthroughs. Supernatural intervention. Father, touch them. Touch, touch, touch. Power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. Doors to be open. Father, no trace of examination nerves. Every anxiety, every anxiety to be gone, to be gone, to be gone. Doors to be open. Touch, touch, touch. Her. Oh, there's the anointing. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Touch, touch, my daughter. In the name of Jesus, power every attack. Be gone, deliver, set her free, set her free. Touch, a next level, a next level, a next level, a next level. Power, power of the Holy Ghost. Receive, oh, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Touch her, touch her, touch her. Receive, receive it, receive it. Open doors, a whole new level. Open doors, open doors. Touch these young people. Touch, touch, touch. The anointing. Receive, receive it, receive it. Father, you healed him. You delivered him for a purpose, for a reason. Now, Lord, I'm coming. Favor, power, power, power of the Holy Ghost. Fill, oh, receive, 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 receive. Receive, receive it, receive it, receive your breakthrough, receive your breakthrough, power of the Holy Ghost, go through her, power of the Holy Ghost, receive your breakthrough, receive your breakthrough, the doors to be opened, to be opened in the name of Jesus. If you're standing proxy right now for your child, for a relative that's in metric, raise your hands, raise your hands wherever you are, stand proxy, stand proxy. Stand proxy. Father, right now, as your sons and daughters stand proxy, Father, for every student writing, I pray for supernatural divine intervention to be their portion in the name of Jesus. Father, every student, Lord, they will supersede every natural expectation in Jesus' name. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Oh, there's such an anointing. There's such an anointing still here. There's such an anointing still here right now. Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus stood up at the greatest day of that feast so that there would be prosperity available. There was such a hold back because it was only the high priest that had access to that altar. But Jesus said, let him that is thirsty, let him drink. And he will fill us. Not only will we be filled, but there will also be an outpouring from within us. What's wrong with our temple? I said to you, God is able to turn it around because he cares. It's not just about the afterlife. That is the most important thing for us. But God also wants to bless you, heal you while you are in this body. When you say, Lord, heal me, God is going to heal you and give you the medical so that your body will prosper, you will be in good health, and you will also put your hand to the plow and work in the kingdom. When you need healing for your marriage, your relationship, you come forth, we lay hands on you. Through that point of contact, God is able to touch your body, He's able to touch your mind, He's able to touch your heart, and you will prosper. But there's also the prosperity for financial blessing when it comes to the Feast of Tabernacles because it's the ingathering. How God has blessed us throughout the year. The Bible says, no man, Moses said, should come to the Lord empty-handed. I'm just being obedient. For those of you that are watching online as well, I'm obedient. Like we pray for miracles for your body and in your life, there's also financial blessings available financially for you to prosper. But you here giving your body, you here saying, Lord, touch me, use me. You are giving yourself unto God. 
The way for us to be blessed financially is the ingathering. At the Feast of Tabernacles, they brought their offerings to the priest so that the priest would bless it. Today, our high priest is Christ, but the altar everyone has access to. This morning is an overflow, and God is such a God of grace. There are many that didn't have the opportunity to sow at the Sukkot, to sow at the ingathering. Some people said, Pastor, I didn't get an opportunity. I said, Bring your seed on Sunday. We're going to receive it. Some people didn't, they came and they said, Pastor, I, I'm not prepared. I didn't come prepared to give. I didn't expect such a flow of the anointing. I want to tap into it. I said, Bring it on Sunday and I'll pray over it. Now, it's not just for those people. God is opening up an area of grace, the window of grace. There was a special anointing that time. That, what did they say? The window opens timelessly at the time and at the season. And this is the last week for that window to open. And that's the frightening thing. You read in Malachi that says God will open the windows. But this is a special window at this time of the feast that opens bigger than any other window at any other time. And sadly, it only happened once a year. And we got it right this year, to be honest. In the time. We, we've missed it a few years, but we got it on the exact day that we started the feast, the three nights, is the exact date of the Feast of Tabernacles. So don't miss this opportunity of sowing. Because this is what God commands. You cannot come before me empty-handed. So, sow your best seed. We're not putting a price. It's up to you. You know what you're worth. You know what God's done for you. So, it's up to you to honor God with your seed. We are doing the same thing. We're not exempt from this. We also have to give and sow. So, nobody is exempt. That's why this church is where it is. You know, many pastors tell the people to give, but they don't give. Many pastors tell the people to tithe, but they don't tithe. Oh no, we tithe. We faithful tithe payers in this church. We, my son, my children, everybody. And that's why we lead by example. When we are sick and we get healed, we testify and we tell you so that you can have hope. So same, if I preach on faith, you get healed. So we teach you about financial freedom. Why don't you receive it? I don't mean you won't. You that are visiting with us don't understand this. But everybody right now, I don't know if we can do it next week. I'll be honest. I well, don't know. It's the window of grace. That's what I said. I, I can't don't pray. know. God said the overflow will happen. People that didn't attend for the three nights. Well, this is the overflow today. God is opening That's the door. That's why there was no preaching. That's why. So you better tap in. You got a note to give and say you're bringing it. Bring it. But I don't know. According to the Feast of Tabernacles, it's done. Today Hallelujah. is it. It's over. So if you believe it, you want to do it, fill in an envelope, say you're bringing it. If you didn't bring it, that's the only grace I think we can extend. We're not God, right? When somebody, we're not sure if somebody's going to give their heart to the Lord, we say, Lord, trust them, save them. We pray for somebody on their deathbed, and we ask them to say a sinner's prayer. We don't know how much they can say, but we say, Lord, it's up to you. Exactly. Similarly, it's up to God. Well, Dad, look at how many people have gotten healed. This morning, and right now. Yeah. Over the three nights and this morning. And somebody came to me and said, Pastor, I don't know how to give thanks to God. I want to give, I want to sow, but I don't know how to do it. Guide me. I said, listen, God doesn't put a price on anything. Freely as you receive, yeah, freely you freely give. give. But thanksgiving is a heart thing. Yeah. So you know what I said to them? I said to them, what would your procedure have costed you? How much in medical bills? What does one GP consult cost? What does one uh, consult to the specialist is? What is our medical aid bills? All of these things. I said, listen, upon the conviction of your heart, give in proportion to what you know Amen. God has blessed Amen. you with. I could not That's put an amount. I can't put an That's amount. That's it. That's it. We put amounts when God puts it into our spirit. Yeah. There are times where God says, give X, Y, and Z yes. prophetically. That's it. when we do it. But it's a heart thing. But you know why I feel we can't? 
because the window is open now. It's There's not. nothing more we can say. I can't, I, I don't have it to say give 7,000 <laughs> or whatever it is. I can't do it. You know, one of the days I, I had the thought and I had to seek my heart. Six is a number of men. Mm. I said, Lord, can they give 600 or 6,000? The Lord didn't lead me to do it for the three nights. So I left it. Now that's how obedient we are. But that thought, but you see, I know the difference from a thought and from a word of knowledge. Over the years, I learned it. So I don't make those mistakes. So I didn't do it. So that's why this window is open. Come and bring it and put it in here now. I want you to get your seed ready. The baskets are not coming to you. They said bring the offering to the priest yeah. at the altar. The altar is available. Search your heart. For those of you that didn't have the opportunity over the three nights to give, this is your time. For those of you that brought it to give it, this is your time. If Hallelujah. You, if you feel, Lord, I need the supernatural breakthrough like the miracle, it is your time and it is now. The baskets are here. We're going to give in this worship song before we close. But this is your opportunity. You are going to testify. For those of you that are online, the banking details are on the screen. You can do it via your snap scan. God is asking us to do this not for us. He's asking us to do it for you. Yes, yes. Because it's the sower that's going to reap the oh, harvest. Yes. I know there's so many haters out there. There's so many negative people when it comes to giving. But those are people that are not givers. Those are people that don't stand out and win souls. They are the negative talk. Like the serpent in the ear. Don't worry about them. Listen to what God you says listen to your shepherd, words. nobody else. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says the sheep know my voice. Hallelujah. Come out of your seats. Come out of your seats. Let's worship God for a moment. Oh, everybody, everybody, come out of your seats. Come, come, come oh, there's an seat. anointing, like the anointing for miracles. The anointing for your financial prosperity you, is here. Oh, you, we love you, Lord. We're giving because we love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lord. Oh, yes, sing it to him. I love you. I love oh, you, Jesus. I love we love you, Lord. We worship you. I love we you, worship I you. Love you. Yes, I Holy Ghost. You. Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God. I love you, I love we love you. you love oh, Jesus. Jesus. Everybody sing it. Come on, everybody. Worship him for a moment. Everybody stand. I love you. We're doing it from the bottom of our heart, Lord. Yes. I love you, Jesus. Oh, we do. We do. Holy Ghost. I love you. I love you. And what does your heart say? We'll follow. What is your heart going to do? I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And my heart will follow. And my heart will follow. My heart will oh, thank you, Jesus. Follow. Church, stretch forth your hands. Pastors, can you accompany us? Because well, we're going to pray. The Lord we're going has challenged to close. me to give a thousand rand. I want to challenge you to equal that or better it. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to do that. I'll go home. I'll get my thousand rand. I'll bring it to church. Yes. That's who I am. But I just felt like challenging you. Yes. There's such a spirit of willingness and a flow. I want to challenge you. Anybody, business people or not, I want to challenge you to equal a thousand rand that I'm giving as a pastor. <laughs> and I want to challenge you. Anybody say, Pastor, I'm with you. Thank I'm gonna you. Be Thank the, you. I'm going to do the same. There you are. I'm going to do the same. There you are. You want to do the same? Raise your hands. I 
pastors raise their hands behind me. Anybody else right there? Say, Pastor, I'm going to do it. Amen. I don't know what I got, but I'm going to do it. I go out and check. <laughs> but you got to be obedient. Bring that blank envelope, Pastor Llewellyn said. We'll give you an envelope and you do it. Yeah. Amen. Even if you don't have the funds now, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank Just you, Jesus. Just put it in faith. Just put it in faith. Thank you, Jesus. As a pledge. Somebody's knees have been healed right now. Who's that? Pain in your knees are just subsiding. Bad pain. You got them in both your knees as you stand, but they're just subsiding. Who's that? Hallelujah. Who's that? We're trying to close this meeting. Glory to God. Who's that with the pain in their knees? Amen. Raise your hand. It's not a mistake. Who's that got the pain in their knees? Where? Where? Oh, I can't see. Come, Ma. You, can you come here? You can walk. I'll pray for you where you're standing. Yeah. Okay, stand there, Pastor. Put your hand on her. Pastor Louis, go pray with her. Father, I ask you to what you reveal, you heal. Yes. Heal that mother's knees right now. Yes. I command every pain to loose her and let her go in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ask her to move it. Ask her to test it. You feel one for me? That's the one. Got it? You're putting blank. All right. Let's pray. Come. Let me pray. Pastors, join us. Stretch forth your hands, church. Oh, Father, even those that are online that want to give, we bring them in this prayer right now. Yes. And we cover them in Jesus' name. In Lord, name this Jesus. window that's open, Father, let it be for everyone in this house. Let them be sensitive and see what you are doing. And I pray in the name of Jesus for every one of us that is sowing our seed to be blessed, commanded Hallelujah. to prosper, 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. That's how you do it, Lord. Do it now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for financial breakthroughs, business to prosper, promotions to come. Do it, Lord. Debts to be canceled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. The church of God said, everybody said, now before you leave, for those of you that didn't attend the feast, at the end of every night, you must understand that the feast is a time of great joy. So how you walk in is not how you walk out. You better have a bounce in your step. You better be waving your hands. If somebody is walking out in front of you and they don't have a bounce, check them and say, can I see your bounce? Can everybody, can I see the bounce in your, uh, in your seats while you are? Come on, let me see that move. Let me see that move. Come on. It's a time of exceeding.